fresh. You're here in Cologne for the first time and it's your first Gamescom, right? Yes. When did you knew you have to attend here? Uh, it was actually, I didn't even know that it was going on at okay. this time. I, because I'm new in the gaming industry, obviously, um, you know, I heard about the different games events like E3 and stuff, but uh, I never considered attending one. Okay. And then uh, my PR company said, why don't you go to Cologne? And I said, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll go check it out, see if you can get some uh, meetings and interviews, and they could, so we decided to come. So when did you decide that you have to make this game? We were, it was a few years ago and there were some Americans that approached us and they had the original idea and they said you should, uh, yeah, you should make a, a dating sim where you're the guru and then we kind of went from there and did the concept. We actually filmed the last level with Kate, that was the kind of um, concept. And then we showed that, we got feedback, and it was quite a long process to make the game. Okay. And you were so happy that you could make the first game. When did you decide to make the second game then? Uh, was it uh, that you have more material, or did you say, okay, we need to make a second game? There were a few reasons. So, obviously the first game was our first game, and we knew that we could do a lot better. So when, imagine when you're filming it, you can't really imagine how it's going to be when players play it. And the game had a lot of changes in its development. We had different things like power-ups and live systems and things like that that we got rid of. And so when we saw the final result, we were able to come up with a big list of things that we could improve. And we got feedback from Twitch and uh, YouTube people. We were taking notes. So first we knew we could do a lot better. Uh, second, it was a commercial success, so it made sense business-wise to do another one. And uh, the hard thing was, we, it was really, really hard work and quite stressful, the first game. Okay. So that was like the, the balance. So we had a kind of meeting and decided, okay, let's do it. When did you decide to act for yourself? Or have you ever considered trying another actor playing you? Uh, in the second game, I'm only in four levels, so we've got new actors in six, <laughs> which means that um, this is kind of the, the test. If players really like the other actors, fine, I don't need to act, I don't care. <laughs> but if they don't like the other actors and I need to do more, then, then I'll take that feedback. But in the first game, it was very, very low budget, so we didn't really have the option of flying in a, a good actor and paying them to, okay. to play my role. And it, it was, we didn't have a proper script, everything was very messy, so I think it needed to be me in the first game. Have you like, spoke to Twitch streamers about the game? What sure. was their, um, their meaning of it? Sure, I mean, we were watching, uh, with the last game, I think Boogie played it, and then uh, Tucker played it, Jericho, whatever, so these, these big soda pop in and stuff. The, the big Twitch guys were playing it, and we uh, tuned in. And with a couple of them, I wrote some stuff or uh, called in and they like uh, chatted to me while they played. And we watched all of the um, big YouTubers. I think there are thousands of videos on Super Seducer, so we didn't watch them all. Uh, but we watched everything with, I don't know, more than 30,000 views, I would say. Um, do you think it's hard to uh, stay on Twitch with such a game? Um, to play it on Twitch for a long time? Yes. Uh, or multiple times because you have so many multiple choices? Multiple times, maybe yes, but to have one playthrough, I think lots of people played at least three levels each time they played, because it was, it was quite short in the first game, so... Um, no, it didn't seem like it was, it was slow. I think there's some entertaining bits in the game, so they're always laughing. Yes. The, the audience get involved, pick A, pick B, pick C, like that, so I think it's... Uh, we didn't really think it would be a hit on Twitch, but because of these elements, it was popular on Twitch. And you can always skip with the space bar, so... But uh, we didn't skip. I played oh, well. it um, the first game on my stream. First, I uh, didn't want to because I usually stream other games, but my audience said, Sam, you're so funny, please do it. And uh, we played it. And a lot of people couldn't watch it longer than one hour. Oh. Um, a lot of people stayed and said, OK, I want to know, I want to learn something. Some people learned a lot. <laughs> Some people said, OK, I won't ever do it like this.
this is good because you've given her a nice compliment, it's direct, it's made her smile and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice confident way to start in the street. But um, did anyone come to you and say, hey, I really found someone? because of the game? Yeah, if you look on the Steam reviews, there are a few people that said they used it seriously okay. and uh, they had good results. And then I got some emails and Facebook messages okay. and different things like that. Yeah. And um, what do you think about the critique, the bad critiques? Uh, the bad critiques? Well, on Steam, we have 85% positive reviews for the first game, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, the reviews from the press were bad, you know, like all of the coverage from the press uh, from pre-release and from people that didn't even play the game. Okay. And then people, I think like 80% of people that wrote some bad critiques didn't even play the game. Okay. And yeah, I mean, that was bad, but I understand journalism and I understand that if you write this game is uh, total shit and misogynistic and awful, people will click. If you're right, this game is kind of funny, but also bad. It's not so interesting. So I understand the, the kind of negative uh, coverage, but um, at the time it was quite difficult for us to, to read all of that. But when the game was uh, popular on YouTube and popular on Twitch and uh, popular with the players and good reviews from the players, then we, we didn't really care about the bad press. Like no, no, let's things, hear, let's like hear you be brutally short. honest. Well, I, I don't, I don't want to be baited into insulting. You're full of this. You've I've got, got three women. For, I've got respect for the women You've got here. no respect for personal. English women. That's I, the whole point. I'm generalising. You have zero respect for English women. You I've are a repulsive individual. I've got respect for my mother. I've got respect for many British here, women. Who's come on here, and when you're actually confronted, when you're actually confronted by smart, intelligent, beautiful women, you can't deal with them, can you? Of course I can. I'm dealing with everyone. Well, go on, would you ever consider to make a game with different genders, like um, transgendered people, or uh, do you think it's not, it's too early for this? I think, well, in this game we had a lot of ideas um, and we ended up trying a lot of new things. So we've got new actors, we've got new uh, women giving feedback with me, yeah, I saw that. female perspective level, so we're trying so many new things in, in this game. And in the future, I think we would try gay before we try transgender, so we would need to move slowly. But basically, we will, if there's, if there's a demand and people want to see it, uh, we can do it. And the way we would do it is, if I personally don't have the expertise in that area, I would talk to people in that community and understand the specific dating challenges that they face and then try to build a level around that. But uh, we have to consider the international market. The game was popular in China. I don't know what they think about transgender in China. No idea. So it's a... Uh, and nothing gay is maybe banned. Gay stuff is banned in China. I don't know. So there's stuff to consider. Yes. But do you plan a third game? Do you think about it if the second game will have success? We definitely think about it. We don't want to rush it because we, we released this one soon after the first one. Yes. It's like March 6 to September 12, uh, six months and six days. And it was a really intense schedule and we're tired, so we need a break. Uh, but in general, yes, we would do a, a third game if this one does well. And because my community loves like special editions, limited editions, have you ever thought of about a retail version of it with uh, both games and maybe a book or maybe a shirt or maybe some figures? Yeah, we, or... we thought about that because they have the merchandise people here and they have statues yes. and stuff, so we, <laughs> we could do something, yeah. Okay, great. And uh, what are your next plans after visiting Gamescom? Uh, after Gamescom, we're going to release the game for early previews to Twitch and YouTube at the end of the month. I don't know about the German translation because it's not 100%, uh, so we might need more time for the international versions, but the English version should be the end of the month. Uh, then we will be working hard every day until the release. And then when it comes out, we have a big uh, two-month uh, vacation planned. Great, great. <laughs> so, um, have you any questions to our players, maybe? So at... How can they answer me? <laughs> no, maybe. Uh, my community uh, wants to see Super Seducer 1 and 2 mm -hmm. in a big stream. We will stream it all oh, wow. day long. No yes, um, and. Uh, they are expecting me to be totally serious. Of course, it's very <laughs> because serious. Because last time I had to laugh some at some scenes like uh, you're playing blind and I was, yeah. and was dying. I was really literally dying. And in the German translation, 
uh, there was a scene at Fabro where you say, I like electricity. Ah, yeah, yeah. And in German, it was translated to uh, Max du eigentlich Strom? Do you like electricity? And it's a, it's a really, really big thing at our stream that people come in and say, so, hi, do you like electricity? Do you like electricity? It's, it's really, really big. And oh, okay. uh, maybe, do you want to greet my community and say... Hey guys, so I hope you like the second game. Uh, I'm very open to feedback. If you want to laugh at it, make fun of it, great, that's fine too. And um, yeah, I'm interested to see whether you like what we've done differently with the second game. Thank you so much for the interview and for having time for us. And I say then, magst du eigentlich Strom? I can't